we so this is the advanced version as you see the camera is already moving around no one's in, we're not in play mode or anything like that so here's the route manager we can start a test and it goes and stays somewhere so the settings now is on transform type follow and it's looking at the blue cube so wherever this blue cube goes it will try to find and follow it ground plane follow waypoint track and that's not working right oh it's start test okay, there we go so it's uh directive is to follow the bl blue cube so the blue cube moves it moves to find the blue cube but you notice things are it's like they're not staying so now there's a editor window open that up so when you start a test here the tests stay running in play mode uh, in editor editor mode alright so now it's tracking the blue cube so when I switch off I still have that functionality right so the cube is gone and it's on its way looking for the cube all right so I found the cube and now it's pretty far it gets to the closest waypoint to the cube now this is old behavior this is what it used to do and it does now in its current form so the new behavior is uh, this. So now we have the same basic functionality, but instead of the jerky movements between waypoints, we have this smooth transition, curved transition, right? And with that comes greater accuracy. So now the it can get much, much closer to the blue cube still on follow of course if I move the blue cube again I, I need to open the edit the window and if I keep that running that way no matter what I do here I will still have access to the editor oh there you are so this is what we have now and I just need to make sure everything works so it can be uploaded to unity and uh, ex extend you know, the life of the package that we have now so if I select these as you see I can I can scale the, the curves Uh, there's other things I can do to the curves too. I'm not sure. Let me see what I have. It's like I said, it's been months since I've been in here. So this is the curve scale for the currently selected curve. Can change it here and edit there anywhere. Uh, that's okay. It has the rotation of that point on the waypoint. I mean, if I take it off of follow and I just put it on waypoint, hit start, it'll go from waypoint to waypoint. And at every interval, which is every waypoint, its curve is set to that. So it interpolates between this rotation and that rotation. So it can be at that specific rotation at that point. And if I put it on track, so it'll always look at the blue cube, no matter where it is in its test route yeah 
time so and uh again if the blue cube blue cube moves it smooths our blue cube it stays tracking the blue cube now there's many different um ways to move around for instance i'm still testing and i can enter the curves and we can slurp the rotation we can get a direct look at which is you know just lock on there's a rotate towards which presents you know depending on the speed and movement of the camera maybe a better a better choice and we have already looked at slurp and this would be a percentage of the rotation from where it was to where it's going so it could be faster times or slower times depending on the actual instance and what it's looking at because I mean you can change these at any time and and change it's you know where it's looking how it's looking hmm? so not now it has a new target right mm, if I cut off the loop you know it's the we lost part of our section here so there's a non-looping track only way to get back over there is probably to follow which it shouldn't have jumped across the gap but that's not a runtime change so that I'm not I'm not too concerned about so back on track loop it and I guess we could slip the rotation and here we have a curve so this is how it transitions from point A to point B and then to point B and then to point B Windows I think I've got Windows 7 this thing is like uh, built for development I don't have too much power graphics wise or, or any other what I do have is memory and things not the best but it sure ain't the worst <laughs> okay so now if you notice the behavior changes on the camera it shoots through the first side of the curve and then it eases out to the next and so on and so forth So you'd want to keep that on zero probably. So that's a flat curve. And that's not going to move at all. Okay, so ease in, ease out. Yeah, I'm not very good at manipulating these curves to have the camera do what, <laughs> what I want. But it's there for, you know, <laughs> if someone can. This is what I know how to do. You go from one end to the next. I mean, uh, of course, I'm not a level designer either. So that's the general run of it all. We have scene presentation, which gives us the look and feel of it all. So the full stream for the camera, we can adjust the color to that, to our liking. The handles, we can adjust the color to those, to our liking. rotation lines which are not being shown here because they're they're not active where would I activate the rotation lines route manager waypoint property curves this should be in the curves so here's the rotation line lens so if I make them longer I should see something. I'm not seeing anything. I wonder why. I don't know. That may be one of the things I, I was taking out. When I started, I had the curves cut along sections. And there were tons of s intervals along the curve. And as I continued on, I learned how to do it better. Notice segments are are shut off and I um I don't know why that is I think it's shut off because it's no longer an active uh, 
an active thing, but that's that's strange. Okay, let me stop this test. <laughs> See what's going on here. Okay, high turn handle. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And my route manager, stop the test. Alright, see, so here's the segments. So I can create a bunch of them in this. And that's just to show along each point where, it, where it's going to be. So I can move the camera like that. So I click along point A, point B, point C, point, and it will get to that point along the line. So that's what that is for, and that shows shows, mm, so you can get a, a feel for what's going on. Usually, you don't have that running because it just eats up power. And there's a few more good things I have in here that I think I need to address before I can publish the asset. So here's the route scrubber. You can scrub the entire route and see how it looks any particular point along the route that's another new innovation in the an update from 1.1 1 1 to 2.0 we can hide those guys and so on and so forth hide that add the curves if I had the curves it should still run around along the route yeah but it, they're just not visible anymore and as you see they could be hidden so they can also be colored so it's fully customizable now and it provides a lot more functionality so these are markers that define specific things including what's the n the next selected waypoint and where the camera is or is going at, at any particular time So you can put titles and it shows the waypoints. Markers. So that's that. Waypoint handles. Waypoint lines. Oh, these are the original waypoint lines. Okay, so general, old style. It still it still works. It has to work because There's a lot of people downloaded the software al already, the asset, and it has to blend right in. So w and once you upgrade, everything will work as you had it before. But once you click this Bezier curve button, then it it will build some more files and give you access to a wide variety of of upgrades. Okay, so settings. I can close that down. So you can change your your opening and closing stuff too. <laughs> That's cool. So legacy runtime. What does that even mean? Using curves routers runtime. Oh, okay. So when I press play, it'll automatically use the curves. Right, so if you if you if you notice the camera is not doing the jerky movement, it's going smoothly throughout the the curves, not the waypoints, and that changed. That's that's an event. So that's also new with the new system. At each waypoint, you can trigger specific events to happen throughout your game, and those use Unity events and C sharp events, and you can mix and match them and have different things happen at different times throughout the, the the system so I was really close to getting this thing out here I just figured I'd get it all straight and this is legacy runtime and you can see the, the jerky movement from one point to the next and uh, curves runtime to where you get more s a smoother transition Let's open that up at the settings. Okay. So 
So, Curves Runtime, Legacy Runtime. Uh, with the introduction of this, I don't see why anyone would even check the Legacy Runtime. But it's there as an option, because things built a certain way can won't run another way. Like these curves could pre present all kinds of problems in people's already um, built games and stuff. Because uh, let's say the curve can probably like run out of bounds, you know, or hit something that it shouldn't hit. Of course, you can just you know scale down the curves and have it back to something that's kind of normal. You have options. I left I left it all in there. It's one of the hardest things about developing for other people is that you know, other people have to use it. Mm. It never ever follows what you what you envision it to be. It's all it always turns out to be something else. And you know everything stays because these things are run, ran in scriptable logic. Here's an error that needs to be fixed. So it doesn't, the changes pr at runtime persist. Because <laughs> they're scriptable objects, they're, they're not mono behaviors. 